Hello everybody, this is Goobberry and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail. So in this episode we're gonna have a look at the Grand Hiver mission. This is also another difficult mission and I'm guessing future missions are all going to be difficult and uh, difficult to complete seeing as you know the rewards does not exactly correspond to what we thought of as uh, easy or difficult missions in the past chapter. In this chapter uh, the rewards are low but the difficulty is still high i'm guessing it's going to keep scaling because i'm getting more and more uh, better ships so yeah last episode was called the rage edition and uh, i tight and titled it as such because you know re-watching it i had a very uh, good time laughing at my rage at the technicalities especially the ai in this game which uh, does not really you know move according to what i say uh i don't know if it's going to be a repeat in this episode but you know what all the more humor for you guys i guess so having said that let's just get into this game uh grand hiver sunday 28th december 1794 in spite of our victories the french continue to beat us strategically while distracting our fleets they deliver food from america to a starving france they appear to be withdrawing all the all of their warships to the atlantic while our opposing fleets were maneuvering our squadron discovered the French light squadron under the command of Rear Admiral Pierre Jean Van Stable. Uh, hopefully, I pronounced that right. This is a great opportunity to weaken the French fleet and regain the initiative. So, yeah, I'm going to be just doing the follow the orders because uh, even though we have a few, so we have a few extra ships. Uh, I forgot which one of these ships we actually got, but we got uh, some ships. To add to our uh, complement, and uh, I have, as you can see, we have loaded them with the cannons in the from the last episode. I did cut, cut a few, uh, a bit of the video here and there, because there was just too much going on. Uh, I had, I was talking too much, and uh, you know, not much of it is actually watchable content or enjoyable content. It's mostly me just talking about strategies, logic. Or you know, being surprised at some uh, particular unit. Oh, wait a second. Talking about units. What the hell is going on here? Why does it say needs crew? Oh, operating below the necessary number, huh? Ah, okay. I guess I now have enough crew members to hold this ship in proper working order. I guess. Yeah, so yeah, so as I've not yet replenished my land units because uh, I didn't have enough money, and somehow I think I sold some sold a few cannons etc. in the last episode, which is why I have had around four thousand uh, monies doubloons. What what is this called? I don't know. It's not even called anything. So it's like let's consider it's a doubloon. So yeah, now this. Hopefully this episode will give us the seventy eight thousand eight hundred without much problems. Let's just get into this and see how things play out. Every time I play this game, I I have to keep wondering whether the audio has uh, muted by mistake because uh, you know switching between this game and uh, other applications automatically. I mean sometimes glitches the game and uh, mutes it. So hopefully that's not the case right now. Yeah. It, there is sound this is the dong okay wait let's read what's on the left uh so the fence okay the same thing but oh, jesus so oh, wait oh my god so I'm, I'm going to be starting a fight alongside the french fleet huh uh completely forgotten what i've done before Maybe I just go with this. Maybe I use a Mayberry class. I like chocolate. Let's try putting I like chocolate over here as well. 52 cannons here. Uh, oh, I remember now. Uh, let's be a bit more careful. I suppose we'll be getting reinforcements. These things are reinforcements. As you can see with the R glass, that is future reinforcements. So, you know what? I'd rather have uh, some good ships moving on in this side and uh, having these ships come up from behind as well. I don't 
want any timed reinforcements because uh, that just sounds like an annoying. Uh, you know what? Maybe the HMS constant I can have it uh, come up later on. Uh, while it's not gonna you know help us in any way in combat and naval combat, it's it will it will help us with crew members that I can uh, use to capture enemy ships. Seems like uh, ah, there are a lot of mandate. Oh. You evil, evil people. You know what? Fine. I'm going to cheat the system and load uh, two ships, two of my transport ships in the mandatory slot. We managed to catch elements of the French Light Squadron isolated from their main body, and our ships have already begun to engage them. The French are holding their line and seem to be expecting reinforcements that will allow them to regain the advantage. If it turns out that the entire squadron is nearby, we will be in trouble. Our ships are at full sail to join the battle. If we can inflict significant damage here, it will make it much easier for us in the future to outmaneuver the French in the Atlantic. Yeah, I mean, to say that again. I mean, don't, but uh, it's still, you could say that. Uh, the wind is towards the east. Ah. All right, go, go forward. Woo, my friends, woo, we can all do this. You know what? Let's uh, move in this direction. You guys, all move in this direction. What? How? How did an enemy ship sink so fast? Oh, that's amazing eh? in a in a sense. I don't think our ships would be this good. Hello. Uh, uh, hello. Hey, stop it. What are you trying to do? What are you playing at? Wow, my ships are really blasting these guys to kingdom come. No, I don't mind it. A quick uh, victory? Hell yeah. Are you trying to bash into my ships? Stop it. Okay. Uh, these ships are on their way. Yeah, this ship have not yet issued any commands to it. So, you know what? Let's go this way, you this way, you this way. And uh, the bomb also this way. Okay. You can turn around. Ow! Oh my god. What am I doing? Oh, okay. It's a ship behind it. I was taking the damage. I was wondering what's happening. I didn't think my ships were going to take that much damage. Ah, uh, no, 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 wait. Let's go at half speed. Unfortunately, I like chocolate is somehow faster than my... Okay, the Artemis has sunk as well. I like chocolate. I have no idea why I even named it that. But you know what? Whatever. Oh, yeah, we have some of these long range cannons. Now I remember. Those those cannons can seriously do some damage to the enemy. Okay. Time for me to turn around and start uh, going full sail. I'm gonna take the dong this side, towards this side. Uh, I'm going to use I like chocolate and very free to get rid of uh, the medusa the medusa sort of like mad use taking a poop okay you guys are really slow but you know what still ooh, you are a bit faster aren't you Can i have a slightly slower speed for you mingle cherry okay maybe mingle cherry i don't know why I named it such, but it's now called Mingle Cherry, and you're gonna like it. 
uh, fire. You know what? I'm going to. Oh god. Uh, Medusa has sunk. Okay, cool. It's awesome. Oh my god. You know what? Let's leave the Medusa alone. I don't think I want to take on the responsibility of handling a ship on fire. Because that would mean my sh my ships could also get on fire if they get too close to it. Huh. This battle is... Seems to be going much faster than I anticipated. And much more smoothly than I expected. What the hell is going on? Something fishy is going on. The dong, I think it's best if you hang tight. Stay at the back. I mean, slow down. Nobody else is even near. I don't know why I'm hearing cannon fire at the back end over here. Oh, okay, now I understand. Berry free is also fire because it's in its arc. The Audacious, the Fugu, Insurgent, and Virginie. Somehow they are they have still remained the same as they were in the before I had I mean when I had not done the last mission. And I had tried this and I had lost it actually. This this mission I had lost. But somehow for some reason they are still uh, the same ships, the same crew size, and they feel it feels like they're not any more any stronger than they were before. And I am firing at max range. Healing damage itself should be a big deal right now. You know what? Yeah, let's group you guys together. So, and you group behind. You can make a move. How about you to go behind this, this guy? What about the remaining two guys? Ah. You know what? Let me just keep, let me keep them in a group. Makes things a little bit more simpler. And string these battles are getting bigger, and I need to learn to uh, to automate some stuff. Not keep. A, oh my God! This guy just run over the the ship. Next question: Will Odysseus take uh, fire damage? Odysseus is a strong ship. Oh. Hopefully I can deal enough damage to it before it gets close to the Dardong. Giggity. Come on, come on. Okay, time to leave. Very free is taking things head on, huh? Uh, why are you waiting for group? Oh no. Uh, you're not waiting for anybody. Get the hell out of here. This group has been dismantled. I take back what I said. I want all my ships to fire on one target then I can't keep them in a group because they follow in a line like a sheep ooh that was some good damage 66 that was awesome hello still need to understand you know how to do this because uh, get the feeling like we have to do macro you know have groups and then uh, you know do circles around these ships maybe that would be a more, much more efficient use of uh, grouping the 
bomb. The bomb is what? The third rate ardent class, and what are you? Fifth rate endymion. Speed 13.2, and you? Speed 10.4. Ah, you will slow down. I like chocolate, but still. Damn. Only I could get. Oh, uh, this is down. Oh, you are firing at the Virginie. Jesus. That's so far off. Ah. Oh, this is getting the whole hold on me. Okay, Donk and you are finally... Ooh, this is... Oh, shit. What the hell is this? <laughs> you kidding me? More ships? Last thing I need is more ships. Oh, we are gonna Pirates of the Caribbean this, I guess. Double team from both sides. Uh, what do you call this? It's, uh, oh my god, I forgot what it's called. Yikes. Ouch, he's punching me on the face. Okay, you guys, uh, where's the rest of these guys? There you are. I have to find a way of getting close to these guys. Close enough to do damage. Unfortunately, they are sailing towards the wind. I'm sailing against it. Which means I might have to do a turn. Damn it. I hate doing that. Ooh, I've had a rudder break, huh? Damn. My only, only hope is the dong, if it gets rid of the armor on that side. Of uh, the right side of Odysseus, because uh, Berry Free is hitting it hard on the side where it has full armor. Oh, yes, yes, stop, 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 stop. 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 You guys turn around. Odysseus has surrendered. So you know what? Time for me to drop uh, my crew. Deploying. It's time. Oh. He's. Deploy. Okay. Get on, get on, get on, get on. And you, meanwhile, follow this ship. You guys turn around. Let's move, move. Make a move. Full speed ahead. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, God. What the hell is happening? <clears throat> oh, a little turn. It, uh... Ah, I'm stuck in the crossfire. Oh, this is horrible. Hey, this is my right side, huh? Right side. Stop, don't fire. We are the only ones going to be the loser here. What, what are you doing? Uh, hey, who's this guy? Oh, okay. Oh, no. Get on, get on, get on, get on. I was wondering who, who's this guy. Who's lost so much health? Damn it. It's hard. It's hard, hard, hard. Alright. Once again, I'll need to micromanage everything. Damn it. It's kind of hard. All the wind directions 
you know you stay put stay put your job is to heal you guys it's time for you to go head out this way yeah, why don't we have you guys head out with the, the bomb that's how mingle cherry dingleberry and uh, mayberry take care of these guys i think i should be able to handle it Why is Dingleberry so slow? Oh, he's not at the... He's facing a light yellow color direction. Hey, somebody... Okay. I have to be careful. There's somebody I remember changing the cannon's directions, right? Which one was that? I guess it was Dingleberry. Mingle Cherry. Oh, shit, 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 shit. shit. Few minutes because I don't know who's gonna be the who's the damage dealer right now. You move on your own. You uh, might have you change direction and you can now start firing. Oh, okay, Virginie exploded. Whoa, okay, the dong. Why is the dong? What happened to the dung? Oh my god, did the... Oh my god, I think the dung got hit by it very free. Uh, this is what... This is the horrible thing that can happen. When you let these guys fire on their own. Damn it. Very free, you little shit. This guy is being a bit of a pain in the ass right now. Oh, my. Dingleberry, what are you doing? Why is Dingleberry leaning like that? A very awkward lean. to the left slightly and then halt. Odysseus, uh, shit. You know what, Odysseus? Regardless of your problems, I can't have you moving. Not right now. Dingleberry, uh, oh shit, Dingleberry is caught against the wind. Maybe he should make, start making a move. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Oh, thank God. A second there, I had a feeling like... Oh, right. Just remembered something. Uh, what are you doing? I said stop. Why are you still moving? He's still moving slowly. And he should be, he should actually be focusing his, uh, his efforts into, oh god, gonna be, into uh, removing the flood status. That's what I wanted to do, desperately. Who the, okay. Yeah, get into this. And you guys, 
full speed ahead. I need you to actually get into the, this area. I have ships. Can we have these guys move? Yeah, let's get out of this place. How about you guys go together? And you, yeah. Whoa! But I saw, saw, I saw, I saw damage numbers. I don't know what what's happened to my English. I'm fumbling so badly. Wow! Oh, Jesus! Who the hell? Is, oh God! Is this guy firing? Are you kidding me? Or what are you doing? Fog! Oh God! It started accelerating. But he slowed down. I I don't need you to do anything else other than this. It is not your job. I like chocolate. I think you can start firing. Oh, okay, fine. Finally. Oh, damn it. Now wind is not favorable for berry free, but you know what? It's fine. Do I have cannons in the back? It looks like there's some cannons firing. Oh boy. Oh, having the wind towards my back means I don't have a uh, firing angle. You know what? Let me uh, turn my ships so I can fire at this uh, ship line from the left. And these guys can come firing from the right. Hopefully if we maintain enough of distance, we will avoid shooting each other down. Yeah, I think I'm, I've covered all my ships. Go, 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 go. John Bart has been successfully blocked. Unintentionally. Good, good. Who the hell are these guys? Oh, okay. Three stuck stooges. Unfortunately, berry free might not come out of this predicament that easily. Okay, let me look at this. You guys, who's this guy? Oh, Constant and Blackpool. You guys are still not anywhere close by. Whoa! I think the insurgents explosion set off damage on John Bart. I don't know what happened. I think that I, I mean I'm assuming it's the explosion because uh, John Bart just all of a sudden lost its sails. Ooh, look at the tiger. Looks like a good ship. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh man. Uh, give me a second. Okay. And we are back. Sorry about that. Oh boy. Once again. I have to micromanage a bit more because Tiger has decided it doesn't want to play well with me. Trying to come into a collision course with me. Which is not good for my ships. <clears throat> Man, but look at the damage. Oof. At close range, my ships rule. So I'm able to deal the max damage right now. John. I, that reminds me. That is very free. Hopefully I can hold out with my ships a bit longer. 
because if I can do that, then I can uh, ensure that I get two ships in this battle as well. So the thing is, uh, I'm. It's not that <clears throat> I'm looking forward to new ships in my uh, fleet. I'm looking forward to ships that I can either take or sell to Admiralty because uh, I need the points for getting a <clears throat> crew members. A <laughs> voice. Oh, oh, damn it! Oh, god damn! I'm getting hurt. Oh, oh, stop it. You're hurting me. Come on, Tiger. Just die already. Oh, shit. The dong has... Uh... The dong has lost some sails. What are you doing? I asked you to follow him. Yeah. Oh god. Where did the dong lose sails? Can you follow this guy then? I think this should uh, work out just fine. I'm not sure how, but the dong has lost sails. It is problematic for me right now <clears throat> mingle cherry i need you to go ahead go ahead full full sales you too you are a bit slower but you know what at least you're in the fight like in the thick of it these guys are still managing they're trying they're desperately trying to reduce the water Good. Ooh, let me just make sure I remove this. Yes, in case. Not a bad fight, huh? No yelling. No me screaming. What are you doing? My ships. My ship's not uh, working against me, etc. Plotting. Oh no, Tigger. It feels like Tigger is going to go down. Don't do it, Tigger. Don't do it. Live. Live and become mine. You can do this. Tiggy, no. Okay, time for me to break away. Maybe double team him. Oh, Odysseus has sunk. Damn it. We lost Odysseus. Okay, let me... Oh, no. Oh, no. Look at this. Can you guys see this? Damn it. I lost the bigger, bigger of the ship. Damn it. Ah, oh, shit, I lost all three. Damn it. I mean, I've lost Vogue as well. Ah, too bad, I guess. I was hoping to get the Odyssey screw into Vogue so we could have more hands to, you know, be uh, anti flood, de flood, I guess. What do you say that for that? I don't, I don't know. To remove the floods. But. Not. We didn't have that much luck, I guess. Not sure where the dong got so much damage. Not sure how. What do you do? Oh shit! Ah oh, shit! No 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 no! Oh shit! He got a sunk. Ah! Oh shit! Well, close range, you guys are gonna really, you know, not gonna have much luck. My cannons are gonna rip you to pieces. Look at that. 
their ships, their little tiny boats are all sinking. Although I have to say, I didn't expect the... Uh... Oh. I didn't expect John Bart to live for so long still. And why is he getting hurt? Oh, he's not. He's stealing them. Let's be careful now. Oh, shit. John Bart has burned. Exploded. Crit. Oh, we got a crit. I guess crits have the potential of uh, totally wrecking a sh uh, boat. Uh, uh, whatever. A ship. I don't know why I forgot the word ship. The dung. You can do this dung. God damn. I have not got a single ship this battle then. Because the uh, Odysseus and Fogu has uh, it's sunk. So I am at zero captured ship this battle. Too bad, I guess. I really wanted some of this admiral points, the rep points, so future ships, you know, I could capture. I don't think it's gonna happen. I mean, look at the speed at which uh, Yul is uh, losing its health. The dong is not showing any mercy whatsoever. No use capturing it as well because, I mean, it's a sinking status, it's a small ship. Well, I guess my transport ships were just too late. Look at us. Hello. They were slow. 5.8 speed. You're never going to reach it, but you know what? The mission is done. The hole has sunk. What the hell happened this mission? There was no umdrop of God. Yeah music it gets me every time yeah there was no humdrum there was no agitation it was just a very casual fight i didn't expect that i didn't expect it to go so smoothly would it have been the same if if i had taken the harder difficulty hmm i don't know but i guess at this difficulty at least it lets us maintain how much of a cash we got so I don't need to spend so much uh, in terms of repair costs, etc. Or losses. Worst thing that can happen is losses without getting more ships. You got the French light squadron scattered and disorganized and inflicted heavy losses upon it. The rest of the French fleet should be much easier to catch now that their screen is gone. Yay. Got some carrier points as well. At this point, I don't think I need more tech points because uh, it doesn't even matter at all. Repair cost is reduced. Uh, one fourth of the ship's HP will be repaired after battles automatically without any cost for free. Sounds like a good deal, actually. Upgrade cost is cheaper. That also sounds good. Officer training, hiring officers. Increased availability of officers. Prices. Better sale and purchase prices in Admiralty. That is actually good. This reputation points, I might want to increase it. Uh, assortment in Admiralty. I don't know what this... This ad, assortment is the one thing that I don't know. Assortment doesn't mean that it adds more uh, complement of... Uh, guess more number of artillery or whatever is available to us i think it will we'll get more of them as a sort of reinforcement or available in the stocks so higher assortment means there will be more stocks of that available for us to purchase i guess <clears> through <throat> training faster this is land battle yeah through healing maybe you know let me go for some true heal healing Wait, what? Cancel. Fifteen percent casualties replenish. What is this? Hiring costs. Through training speed. 
this reputation yeah this is what i said i wanted right okay let's get more reputation because i'm going to be capturing more and more ships over time and uh ships are getting kind of costly to uh get using reputation points unfortunately even if we yeah, with our hard earned our uh, capture capabilities we're not able to uh, get those ships into our uh, fleet because the admiralty wants it and we need to pay that admiralty and essentially use the ad uh, reputation points in order to get a ship that we captured but you know what never mind regardless let's uh <clears throat> Move past that we need to get, capture more ships sell it because that's the main way that i'm going to get a lot of uh points and having said that let's look at the side quests a duke's request after a failed uprising of royalists in Brittany, mobs have been slaughtering aristocratic fam families in the region the duke francois henry de harco i hope i pronounced that right the representative of louis the 18th of france to the british government has asked us to help some members of his family to leave the Britannic post and bring them safely to London. Will you take care of this matter, Captain? Duration one. Okay. Let's send the. Uh... Oh God! I just I think I took my best ships in. How about this? Eighty-six percent chance. Let's start it. The second one. Secret plans. It has come to our attention that our enemies on both sides of the Atlantic are planning to ma la what? Okay, of the Atlantic are planning to launch a coordinated operation against Great Britain. An American official was sent to France to finalize the last details of this plan. We expect we expected him to find what? Okay, we expected to find him in one of the convoy. God, I'm flubbing so much. So we expected to find him in one of the convoys we recently intercepted, but our search was fruitless. We have concluded that the Americans must have chosen another way for their representative to arrive in France. Send any available ship to patrol the waters of Biscay Bay, intercept any American ships, and capture the passengers and any documents found on them. Man, sounds like a really large scale side quest, huh? Okay. I, this is 85% chance. Let's uh, go for the next stage and see. Uh, an enemy commander has contacted me and is offering. Uh, what, what? You know what? I'm going to uh, release them on parole and get 10 reputation points. Yeah. <laughs> 48 reputation points. He won something. Ooh. Battle of Cape. <gasps> it's a major fight. <laughs> let's not look at that now. Okay. Let's look at this. Oh, maybe they took medium damage. Damn it. That means I might have to, that I will have to do some repair work now. Captain, the Duke is very pleased with the safe arrival of his family and the Admiral is relieved that this situation has been resolved. Congratulations, Commodore Edward Arkwright. Got some cash from that. And secret plans. Oh, yes, we took no damage whatsoever. Damn, now this is the way that we're supposed to win battles. The documents of the captured American ship contain almost the full plans of a combined American-French operation against our merchant ships. Their, their objective was to launch a large-scale private preering attack on our merchant ships and deliver a dev devastating strike on our sea commerce. Let them come now, if they dare. Again by Arkwright. Yeah, what if this is a false plan? France and Spain has become allies. No! No! No. To combine their forces against the British Empire, the Second Treaty of San Ildefonso was signed on 19th August 1796 between Spain and the First French Republic. This represents a considerable threat to England and will put even more attention on your actions. <laughs> no. Plus 150 percentage reputation changes. Well, I get more rep, I guess. Oh, God. And we have a land mission as well. Oh no. Oh, and this is, this has a crown on it. Meaning this is going to be a really big battle. I don't want to do that. I'm going to die. They are all going to die. Uh, okay. Anyway, until then, let me, until that, 
Let me have a look at what you think I have. Oh my God. Oh God. Oh, my ships are in repair. Let me look at my ships first of all. I'm sure I've lost some crew in those little side quests. Thingy, so let me get them back up. Uh, very free. How are you doing? Oh, very free needs such a huge complement of crew members. Crews, huh? Yeah. The ships that need a lot of crew to operate them are really annoying. You know what? Not a bad time for me to start making upgrades to these ships. Because all of them have, I have left them empty right now. Not a bad idea. Yeah. What the? Oh, wait. Okay. I wondered why it was going beyond. Okay. Damn it. Do I have enough ships? Uh, constant struggles of the berries. Berry struggles. Let's look at what naval weapons we have. I want to get some of those. I completely, I don't remember anymore what we were looking at. We were looking at some form of a, a Woolwich gun that would go long range as well as our uh, Congreve carronades, I believe. EIC patterns are good, but they're not that good as compared to a Congreve carronade. And these guns, uh, EDR Armstrong guns, are okay. Ooh, yeah. We have some Congreve carronades. These are around uh, 500 yards mark. They're pretty good. Deal around 12 damage. There are 15 of them. Let me just have a look before I go buy everything. Okay, there you go. We have the 24 pounders. You can take 45 inches of armor. It can penetrate. How about this one? 37, around 42. Huh? Okay. 24 pounders is what we need most, I guess. Oh, we have 32 pounders. Do I have any 32? Oh, I have some. Is it possible? Oh, God, look at this. This is what we were looking at last time. Oh, French reboard guns. Reboard guns. Damn. This gun. Oof. But its weight. Weight is like. Huh. Oh, the roof. But just look at how far away it can fire and still manage to penetrate armor. Ah. Sai. It's just that they take so long to reload. And they, they're so heavy. In contrast to, look at this, the 32 pounder Congreve's grenade can deal damage. So, Congreve grenades are really good to, when it comes to the 500 yard mark. Beyond that, they're like, they're really bad. I need to get them up close and personal. I need to, okay, let's, let's not look at this. Let's look at the ships directly to see if there's any way that I can, you know, actually change any of my guns into something bigger because here I'm using Congreve grenades what if I can get something better though yeah like the 32 pounder Woolwich is the Woolwich good? 209 seconds versus this 150 seconds 50 seconds longer but deals a lot more armor penetration damage Fifty-two. Wow. Yeah. Why is the Woolwich so bad at uh, armor penetration? That's sad. Okay. I guess I have the best guns, the cannons on my current ship. Can't get anything better. 
at least you know looking at i'm looking at armor penetration looking at damage values i'm looking at reloading and i'm looking at what range up to what range its effectiveness is there so looks like i have the best complement right now ooh i can go for 18 pounders but you know what i'm not going to do that I, if i remember right it just takes up too much weight on my ship ah this is what i was talking about the 32 pounder borgard long pen Yes, look at that stat. Oh my god, it's so awful. I mean, so cool. No wonder. Oh, this is why Berry Free was able to shoot so far away and yet deal so much damage. Oh my god, this Borgard long gun. It's the bomb. Yeah. 42 pounder. Oh, I can still go. Okay, this is 17, 150, and 950. I just remember that. 17, 150, and 950. So the free can be used as a long range weapon as well. That's the one advantage with very free. Do I want to play that though? Probably, I guess. Not like I'm going to get any other better ships. Damn, why the why won't these why don't the why isn't the bomb? Uh, I think I'm asking the wrong question. It feels like since the uh, Borgard long cannon is not even available on the store, that's why we are not able to switch into any other. But look, this allows up to 42 pounder Woolwich guns, while the third rate. Ardent class, they don't allow. Yeah, see, they don't allow beyond 32. They don't allow 42 pounders. How many cannons does it have? 16, 26, 27, 26. 20, wait, 26, 26, 22. 78 cannons, 68 cannons. <gasps> Very free has a much higher capacity. Uh oh okay so let's do one thing let's reduce our cannon weight first that should help us with yes 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 it should help us to fit stuff that we couldn't fit before like maybe better cannons maybe now will the 42 pounder Woolwich guns be shown. Nope. It has a particular caliber and it will not go beyond that, I guess. Ugh. But it has a 24 pounder Borgard gun, just not the long gun. Jesus. Borgard long gun. If I could get that for all my ships, then whew, that would be amazing. 24 pounder Congreve grenades. I need, if I. Oh yeah, this is another thing, right? So I increase my armor and HP. If I do this, I can increase my armor and HP. Jesus, I need to reduce my crew some more. You guys are asking too much from me. First of all, wait, let me see if I can reduce my caliber of cannon at least a 22 inch variety can i get something that is oh yes i want this 12 pounder eic pattern 18 pounder is 37.5 inches of armor it can penetrate with 12 damage in 92 seconds 10 damage 75 seconds and it's the same yeah so it's around the same right around 35 inches you know what? I'm going to buy some uh, EIC, 12 pounder EIC cannons just so that I can replace and get some more, reduce the weight on my 
ship just has too much weight on it. Oh no. Oh, there it is. 14. 14 is not enough. Ba 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 You know what? 24 pounders I'm using. Oh. Uh, look at all these cannons. They all look so cool. They look so cool. But I can't buy any of them. Uh, 24 of these should be good enough, I guess. Now let's have a look. The one thing for sure, the Borgard long gun, it is so damn heavy. If it were not for these back shot values, I would not go for this. Coming to think of, I mean, thinking about this, I'm starting to get the feeling maybe, you know, I don't want this cannon. I mean, 52 inches is a good deal don't get me wrong 17 damage 52 inches but 248 seconds maybe i can get a better deal out of a 32 pounder i guess uh, 32 pounder eic i mean uh, one grieve where the hell is it it won't even let me why not? 24 pounder. Did I buy the wrong thing just now? I think I did, didn't I? God damn it. I think I bought the EIC instead of the Congreve Gunnades. Okay, let me see. Can I switch over? Ah. Hmm. Hmm. Eighteen pounder, okay. Yep, I definitely can't switch over to the thirty-two pounder. Uh, can't grieve grenades. It's no. I don't think I have enough in my arsenal. Yeah, I need twenty-eight. I have twenty-two. God damn it! Somebody give me twenty. Somebody give me six cannons, please. Six. Give me six cannons today. I will give them back to you next Wednesday. 24 pounders. Ungrieve grenades. I need to change this as well. God damn it. So much confusion. Mayberry has a good deal. Mayberry has 24 pounder. Congreve grenades as well as 24 pounder EIC. What, what's the deal with that? Selfish little bugger. Let me see if I can get this guy into uh, the 24 pounder cat 3 here and reduce his. Uh... Oh, Jesus. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. What is the reload rate? 110 seconds. This one is 131 seconds. But its distance is a little better. So maybe what I'm going to do, I'm going to unmount it here. I'm going to unmount this as well. Instead, I'm going to add Congreve Gunnades here. And here I'm going to add 18 uh, pounder Congreve Gunnades. So there. Maybe now Berry Free will have 24 pounder Congreve Gunnades here. Pounder. God damn it. 18. Little cheater sneak. Sneaky sneak. So, well, that sucks, I guess. Uh, what do I do? I'm stuck, guys. I'm stuck. Uh, okay. Damn it. 
no matter how I look at this, I don't have enough of those guns to do an upgrade. So, you know, I have to have a look at it next time only when I get more assortment. Damn it, I hate, I hate it when that happens. You know what? Let us just, just in case, let me buy those 18 pounder congreve grenades. It's not going to go to waste. Okay, let's look at other sh other uh, ships. Twelve pounder EICs. You get something better. What about eighteen pounder EICs? Twelve ninety two. Twelve ninety two. It's around thirty five inches. Um, thirty seven. About thirty seven. Sounds like a good deal, actually, if you ask me. Uh, how about this? Yeah. What? Let me go for the. Uh. Actually, you know what? Let yeah. Let's just do it. I'm just. I'm getting second thoughts because uh, these ships can just sink so easily. What if I so four thousand three hundred and thousand three hundred? What will happen if I increase the? Four thousand three hundred and thousand three hundred becomes. Oh, jeez. Three from three hundred it becomes four thousand nine hundred. Huh. Six forty plank. H pi H P or what's a H pi? Do I need it? What happens to my armor? That's what I need to know. Oh yeah, armor increases, right? So I guess planking is the amount of health. Oh god, I, I don't remember what is what. I am guessing planking is my armor. Yeah. Jesus, what a good deal. This ship can last so much more longer. Why I, do I have such heavy weapons? Why is Mingle Cherry? Oh. Mingle Cherry is not the same as I like chocolate. It's a lower class ship. Huh? And Dingleberries in the lower even lower class ship i guess yeah all right guys so i'm going to uh there's a lot of uh looking into sort of stuff that i need to do in this episode so i'm going to look into this the next episode i will show you guys a small preview before we start the next sea battle so yeah i hope uh i'm going to have a read through what the mission entitles if it's shows even the slightest hints of them being ships of the line uh, because you know french and france and spain have combined together probably going to bash our heads in so if that's the case then i might need some fire starter ships as well so yeah having said that i'll do the planning and i'll show you guys a summary in the next episode uh if you like this video press the like button and i will catch you guys next time till then do bye bye